Growing up for us, we couldn't get away with that shit at all. At all. If your mother told you to be in the house at like six o'clock, you have the nerve to come meandering in at 6.45? Oh, you know what's gonna happen, but you try to play it off anyway. Hey, mom, I'm home. What's for dinner? Oh, today is school. Oh, shit. I, I knew it, I should have snuck in. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. And number one rule growing up in the house, if your mother told you to do anything, anything, you just shut up and did it. Remember the first time you got caught mumbling something back to your mother, mother under your breath? Remember that? She hit you with that look, went just like this. <laughs> what, what, you, what you say? What you say, you say something? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now fix the face while I fix it for you. Remember that line, fix the face while I fix it for you? She hit you with those kind of Hollywood slogans. Like, I can hear God think, baby, I know what I'm talking about. Fix face while I fix it for you. Watch this, here's one that everybody's gonna know. Stop crying or I'll give you something to. Everybody knew that shit. Young, old, black, white, the Mexicans in the back, Santa Claus knew that. Everybody, everybody. You thought I didn't see you? He's just gonna sit there like. Everybody knew that. That is what I call like a multicultural threat. It is, if you think about it. But you know what that means in layman's terms? That if you think you're crying now, wait until I hit you with the back of the shoe, okay? And remember the times you pissed your mother off in public, but she couldn't get to you? So she'd pinch you real, cool, real close, and she'd give you that gorilla mouth, your mouth get real thin, she'd be like, Sit down and spread a good Hey, Sally, how are you, girl? No, I'm, oh my God, you look so good. I'm not being in one second. I'm finished talking to myself. I swear to God, don't you sneak a man. Because if I remember correctly, back in the days, it was okay to beat your kids, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Eh, wasn't it? People say, oh no, don't do that. You ruined the child. We turned out fine. You didn't see us running to school, shooting up staff and students. You know why? Because we were scared of teachers. You know why we were scared of teachers? Because back in the days, teachers could fuck you up. <laughs> it, it, they could. Not only would, would they beat your ass, they would write a note to your mother telling her they beat your ass, pin it to you, and then send you home. And you know what happened when you got there? You got beat again! <laughs> I'm telling you, it was, it's like that, but times have changed. Things aren't the same anymore. Things aren't the same anymore. Kids have it easy. They have it absolutely easy. Like nowadays, there are six-year-old kids that have iPads to help them do their homework. What? Growing up for us, we only had two things. Mom, who didn't know new math, and something called books. And if you're really lucky, you had something called Encyclopedia Botanicas. Remember those, eh? The blue book with the gold binder? Came like a set of 13 that nobody could afford? There are people in collections today trying to pay that shit off, like, God damn it, it keeps following me! If you had a homework assignment on something like Z for Zebra, and all you could afford was A through G, you fucking failed. That's it. And if you had a math problem, and couldn't afford a calculator, mom didn't know new math, you stuck with little timetable grids in the back of the notebook. Remember the black notebook? Yeah, we'll open it up, got the timetable grid. You thought you were the smartest son of a bitch in the class. Teacher would ask you what seven times seven, like, oh, oh, I know, I know, hold on, hold on, I know, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you start losing your way halfway, like, ah, 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 16, I don't even care anymore. They have it easy. They have it easy. They are kids now that have portable PlayStations. They can take their entire video game library with them no matter where they go. We didn't have that. Two things. Imagination, piece of paper. You fold it up once, you got the paper airplane. Fold it up again, you got the football triangle. Remember that? Yeah. Fold it up one more time and you have everybody's favorite. Do you like me, yes or no? 
Pick a color, blue or black. I bet you there's someone in the room who can make me that shit right now. Just, there you go. I'm telling you, time, times are changed. They don't, they don't have it the way we used to anymore. Like, hell, even men have changed. Have you noticed how men used to dress a rugged in a certain way? Rugged jeans, lumberjack shirt, tough boots. You can tell a real man right off the bat. Now you have men, grown men, wearing skinny jeans. Now, if that's your thing, let it be your thing. That's fine. I'm just saying, don't try to scare the shit out of me by trying to be a tough guy. But I can see the outline of your balls through your pants. <laughs> And I'm telling you, men have changed so much that remember every man was brave. If he heard a noise in the house, he wouldn't call 911. Hell no. Because every man had a weapon underneath their side of the bed. Could have been a bat, could have been a pipe. Hell, even a samurai sword. Made no difference. And I'm telling you, ladies, you may not know this, but once we have that weapon, a small part of us hopes somebody breaks in. <laughs> nah, better, no, not, not a big break in. You know, something small like a crackhead with a water gun. You know, nice, easy, smooth, warm water, okay, you know? And we will jump at the slightest noise, like. Did you hear that shit? Shh, no, 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 stay here. I'm gonna go check it out. Wouldn't even get dressed, but like a naked ninja. Just... <laughs> hell, if your man's crazy enough, he doesn't even need a weapon. Just come out buck naked, screaming like, "Hey, what the hell's going on?" <laughs> wait, wait, hold, hold, hold. Let me do a black guy. Let me do a black guy. <laughs> 